Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to Let's Play Sid Meier's Railroads. Sid Meier's created a game called Railroad Tycoon several years ago, like 15 years ago. That was amazing, and I loved it, and it was wonderful. Uh, but he did it working for another company, and so another company owns the rights to the name Railroad Tycoon. Um, and Railroad Tycoon 2 and 3 have come out since then, and they're actually really good games. Uh, but this is Sid Meier's sort of modern redo of Railroad Tycoon, and he's just calling it Sid Meier's Railroads, and it's an awesome game. Now, one of the big differences, if you have watched my Railroad Tycoon 3 videos, Railroad Tycoon 3 is very much a sort of economic simulation. Railroads it diverges from that, and the original Railroad Tycoon was sort of like that as well, but the original Railroad Tycoon had quite a bit more sort of track manipulation and switching and things like that, which is very good. It's not present in Railroad Tycoon 3. In Railroads, it's less economic and a lot more trying to um, trying to fit all your track in. It's not so much about switching, but physically you're trying to fit in a lot more tracks. So whereas the cities are just like single, singular structures. Um, anyway, without further ado, let's get started. Now, I just did Great Britain, so I'm not going to do that again. We could do a sort of continental Europe, but... Mm, I don't know. And they've got some just abstract things. Uh... Southwest, this is very easy, is it not? Yeah. Northeast United States. Actually, I like this quite a bit. This is uh, where I used to play all the time, way back in the original Railroad Tycoon days, uh, the northeastern United States. It's a very, very old setting. Well, you can play from 1830 to 1970, and you have different goals. Um, unlike Railroad Tycoon 3, where the time limit is fixed, you know, you're, the game, you have to accomplish your games between before, I don't know, 1920. And it's just, you have more goals. The more goals you achieve, the better your final rating. Well, here, they, they actually do it in a kind of interesting way where you have intermediary goals. You have to do something by 1880, and then it's like, okay, good, congratulations. Now, before 1930, you have something else to do. Now, before 1970, you have another thing to do. Um, and it's a nice, fine way to do it. Um, I, uh, whoops, I didn't realize the mouse scrolled that. That's interesting. Um... So if here we're trying to connect New York, Philadelphia, and Washington to start off with. Fair enough. Uh, difficulty level... Did I really have it set this high? Usually, in this game, I don't actually... Because there's not the stock market manipulation, I think... I may be wrong. Um, I don't find the AIs very competent, and I find they just kind of get annoying and, and don't make the game fun for me. So i rather set the difficulty high, um, and then not have the AI. And the routing, see, a big part of the, this game is the routing and making sure you design sensible tracks. Um, on hard, hard basically means if you have two trains on the same track, they can't pass each other, which is realistic. Um, but because of a few technical reasons, I find sometimes the trains end up in really stupid configurations and get jammed for no reason. Now, on easy, they will just pass each other. Um, although the one with the, the lower priority will slow down a little going through. Medium, I, I find, is the best sort of um, middle ground where the trains will stop, but then if they've been stopped too long, they will eventually just, just go anyway, go very slowly. Um, and it prevents situations where things may have happened in a really odd way where they get stuck. Ideally, it's still a bad thing. Um, you don't want to design a route where that sort of thing happens ever, ideally. Um, but... It, uh, it makes it somewhat less crippling. And if you want, you can randomize uh, the landscape completely, uh, and you can randomize the city locations completely if you want a little bit more sort of uh, replay value. Um, but I'm just going to keep the locations where they are. That's fine. Starting here, there's a few different starting points. Oh, if I didn't want to play this first bit, I could start right from the second one. Interesting, but um, I'll do this. And let's go. So this cover this scenario covers the northeast United States, an area stretching from New York to northeast or New York in the northeast to Washington DC in the southwest. It covers a time period between 1830 and 1970 which spans the humble beginnings of the American steam trains through the modern era of diesels. It is recommended for players of all skill levels. Voila. J Piermont, Pierpont Morgan. So they give you a little history of these various tycoons. And there we go. It is the year 1830, and the United States has barely begun its epic journey down the tracks of railroad history. Only 23 miles of railroad track exists today, but the future seems to stretch to infinity for those who control the rails. Excellent. And it starts you off in a random city. In this game, you do not found a company. Uh, you do not have the ability to build unconnected track. And for that, they always start you somewhere as well. Um, 
which, you know, whatever. It, it's a different kind of game. It doesn't compare directly. You also can't zoom out very far. And that, that doesn't make any sense to me. Like, what? Really? I can't get a bird's eye view of the world? You can scroll around the mini-map, but it's kind of awkward. Um, yeah, so we can see here the Dev Denver Coal Company supplies coal, and when you click on it, it gives you a pop-up of places that have demand, which is actually very handy. So Aberdeen demands, uh, the Aberdeen Steel Mill demands coal. Oh, okay, that's, that's good to know. Um, and it turns coal into steel. And then if you click on that, then, well, it shows you all the demand for the city, um, which is just showing passengers right now. What do we have here? Oh, we have a, uh, a food plant which demands grain. Okay, where can we get grain from? From right over here. So actually, we could build a nice little track from um, the Easton Grain Company over to Dover. And that would be pretty profitable, actually, to start off with. So... Let's, let's start that off. We're going to lay a little bit of track. We do have to start with an existing track. We'll just curve it out here. There's a little green circle. I don't know if you can tell around the, the grain company. As long as my track ends up inside of that, that's all I need. And then I can build a depot right over here. It's just going to annex. You can see it'll be a little grain elevator like so. Very nice. Um, and then I can build a train. What options do I have? And I just want to build a train from the grain company which will load, it's not very fast. I'm just gonna do four cars, wait until it's full, and then we'll go to Dover, at which point it'll just dump off. It's not gonna come back with anything. That'll be the round trip from the uh, depot to Dover, drop off the grain and be done. Okay, and we'll make it a low priority train since it doesn't have passengers or anything time sensitive. I mean, the grain value may go down over time, but not much. And uh, the grasshopper is the only train available, so it auto selected that for us, that's fine, okay. Wonderful. Are we currently paused or playing? We are going. Oh, the train is filling up with grain. It's a nice little animation. It's a beautiful, lovely game to look at. Some things are abstracted. Some, some things are not abstracted. This place needs oil. There's actually oil over here. No kidding. Now, as much as I'd like to build a track that goes from one place to another, I can't do that. They have to be connected. So... Part of the fun is trying to figure out the... Oh, there's more uh, There's more grain here as well. No kidding. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to build a double track over here. Next door. I don't have enough money for this. Huh. All right. Um, I don't remember. There's finances up here. This is just my status. There's stock you can buy and sell. It's not terribly important and there's only it's it's only in tens there's not an arbitrary number of stocks um patents are kind of an interesting technique in, in uh, uh concept in this game you'll see them pop up at some point how much to say so it's going to drop off this load we can increase the game speed fast forward and voila a little bit more money not much money oh yeah, that's right that's what we're going to do the, the stock thing doesn't actually, it's not a really good simulation anyway of anything. We're going to sell stock in the company, stock that we own, and it'll raise money for the company. Like I, That's not how stocks work, but whatever, I won't, I won't complain too much. We should have some food here soon, too. That's good. Um, yeah, I'll build a, a little double track here, like a little siding to bypass where that one is waiting. We'll rejoin it over here. And then we will do, what will we do? Do that. The tunnel's really expensive, though. Hmm. I can't sell some more stock yet. Well, let's wait until we can raise up some more money. Vinland wants railroad. Okay, well, we'll see what we can do. There we go, connect it over here, annex, train from here, with four, yeah, it's awfully slow, we'll definitely go with just four, it'll be different once we get uh, better trains, and you can go to Dover and drop that off as well, and you will also be a very low priority train. Okay, that should work. But now we have an excess of food. Aberdeen wants food. Good. 
Willington wants food. Good, good. So we will uh, we'll split these off. We've got a little bit of money, not much money, not quite enough. We'll sell some more stock. And um, we'll connect you over here. And we'll build an actual depot, an actual station, and then buy a train. Oh, we have a Norris available now too. Good. And you're going to go from here where you'll pick up and see you've got to manually set this up. Um, so we'll do two passengers, two food, and a mail car. It's very awkward. Um, no need to wait until full. You can just drop it over here. And you can get rid of the... Uh, the train. You could theoretically make paper, but you probably don't have any being deposited yet. There we go. Oh! That's why I was like, I hadn't seen the pop-up. Why Why is that the case? Okay, and then we'll build a second track side by side. Oh, we don't have any money. So let's wait until some things get deposited. We'll build a second track nearby here, and that'll go from Dover to Aberdeen. Money! New speed record, that's very exciting. Not quite enough. Oh, and these guys will be stuck waiting. But it shouldn't be the end of the world. We'll add some more some more little uh, landings here, and this guy's waiting too, so it's a little unoptimized. We'll add some more things soon. I don't know what you call these, like an extra an extra Station platform, that's the term I'm looking for. And ideally, you start to set up one platform for every little rail. Like, it's a very different type of thing. Do I really not have enough? Now we do. All right. Build another depot and buy a train, which is going to go from Dover, where it's going to go passenger, mail, food, to here, where it can drop off the food. And good. Because Dover has, should have plenty of food, it does in fact. Okay, we're turning some more profit, excellent. The hard part is going to be figuring out how to connect Eaton to here. Because all the rail has to be connected. Well, it's got to have to drop off the goods somewhere, and presumably it'll want to drop off the goods in Dover. these like so okay again everything has to be connected I'm gonna build this a little further back and then I'm gonna build a double track here like this oh, grim job forecast that's bad and then this will go to the drilling company and that should work. And then we can build a little annex so we don't have the money for it. There we go. So now we can have a train that goes from the drilling company. Actually, hold on, we'll wait. Because it's a little hard to see here. We're going to have to build a little crossover thing here. From here to there. And from here... To there. It's awfully complicated routing. This tends to crash the game at some point. Well, that way we can have one train that starts off here, picks up. Uh, this one's going quite a bit faster. We'll grab. We'll grab the full thing. Eight things of oil. Wait until you're full. Then go to the Eaton stop, and it's going to turn the oil into goods, which will then deliver in Dover. We'll clear this off, and then it'll loop around and end up here. Can it really not make that round trip? I must be missing some track somewhere. You can go back and forth there just fine. Then it should go this way to here, and then turn around and come back this way and get there. Oh, that doesn't actually connect. Son of a bitch. Now it does. Fill this up. Wait. 
go here, clear, fill up on goods, wait for them to all be produced, close, go to Dover, and then come back to the drilling company with nothing in it at full speed. And you can be low priority because you're not passengers or anything like that. Voila. Very profitable. We could also set up a second route just to do passengers from Easton. Easton. I keep saying Eaton. Actually, it'd almost be faster. I should go across to Washington and drop it off there. That makes way more sense. It would be a shorter trip. I got to connect to Washington at some point anyway. Let's do that. Build the depot. Where are my trains? You there. Stop. I had to redo your track. Yes, you're not going to Dover. You're going to go to Washington. Then clear. There, now you're just going to use one track the whole time. We didn't even have to build this little silly thing. But it'll do. All right. Um, oh, a new train. The 440 American, which actually is such a good upgrade. Uh, upgrade. Then I'm going to upgrade everything to it. Especially the older trains. I got enough money. The Zephyr? Yeah, sure. And this one, which I just built. Just because it's such an improvement. There we go. And then I think we're going to start to get into the uh, territory of chum trains that are better for... Um, uh, freight. Some trains that are better for passengers. Now I can upgrade this station, which does what? Faster load, unload, more revenue for passengers. You know, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go all the way up to terminal. I'm going to build a second track, which I can't quite see. Like this. And this is just going to be a back and forth to Baltimore with passengers and such. I don't have enough money. Make me money. Make me more money. There we are. And I can buy a train if I'm, if I have no money, which seems strange, but what the hell? There you go. So you're just gonna go back and forth. You are a high priority train since you're carrying sensitive cargo. Not that you're really gonna have to compete with everything. You should be on your own track the whole time. There we go. I can also buy businesses in these places, which I may start to do soon enough. Maybe it's too easy not having competition, but it'll show off the gameplay. Uh, Wilmington, which does get a fairly regular train. We could connect to Philadelphia. I'm going to build a, a double track for this, though, so it doesn't have to compete. Now, while there's not a very complicated supply and demand model in this one, um, distance still plays a, plays a part in the pricing. So there's not the supply and demand. They simulate simply by distance. Oops. I hope that other one I've got set up properly here. Yeah, I do. Okay. So this little run won't actually make a lot of money. And maybe I almost shouldn't do it. Actually, I shouldn't simply because Wilmington won't have enough people. I should be combining a better city, a bigger city. Um, like New York. We'll save up some money. We got lots of money. God. Okay. Apparently, I should have put in competition because it's way too easy. Connect all the way over to New York. Thank you very much. And build a station here, and we'll make sure to upgrade our station in New York. What? New York to Washington line open for business? Yes. Upgrade. 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 We'll do the same thing in Philadelphia, and then we'll have a very productive passenger sort of express line between Philadelphia and New York. Terminals, which are important. Um, what's our goal? Yeah, that's it. Washington, Philadelphia, New York. That's everything we needed. We need immigrant passengers from New York to Washington. All right, we can do that. Is Washington fully upgraded? Where is Washington? Oh, yeah. It's actually not an ideal optimized route right now, though. Should actually build some sort of like custom express route from one to the other. Okay, we're gonna put in another platform. We're gonna take it off the rear end. The uh, and build across this way. 
It's like super duper express route. Need some more money. Make me money. It's gonna bypass everything more or less. It's gonna be double routed all the way to around. Actually through Philadelphia. Sure, why not? Give me money. Just need a little more. Just a little more. There we go. Yeah, so in this game, the difficulty is not with making the profit. It's with making enough and getting to your goals on time and, and routing things properly. The first few times you play, you're just going to screw up your routing and end up with something that doesn't work, and you'll restart a few times. Uh, experience makes it a little bit easier, or a lot easier. You just learn to sort of put everything on its own tracks, which is a little ridiculous. Aberdeen now demands the following goods, manufactured goods. Okay, connect that. Good stuff. Now we can build the train that goes from New York to Washington. And actually, that's speed is actually of the essence with these. We'll speed up the train a little bit by doing that. Um, in Washington, actually, dump it off. Don't bring as many people back because we're, our achievement is to bring things from New York to Washington, not the other way around. And in New York, you're going to wait until you're full. Good, you're doing that. Excellent. And you're high priority. Excellent. And in fact, we'll probably build more than one train. And to ensure that they don't sort of get in each other's way, we'll have a couple of places where there's some sidings. So they can bypass each other and not get stuck. So like here, for example, we'll double it up if we had the money. Like so. All right, and then just do a little one of those. So we don't have to have double tracks the whole way. But then they can pass each other in those spots. So I'll build another train. New York. Six cars. Wait for full. Bring them to Washington. Dump a couple of cars. Don't wait for full. And okay. There we go. So that should achieve that goal pretty easily. Um, although time is of the essence. 50 car loads is a lot of car loads. And net worth, which is fine. That should hopefully just happen by itself. New York eventually needs a steel mill. And then we ship stuff from New York to anywhere. Okay. Read my lips, says Prez. Promises tax cuts. Uh-huh. More demand for manufactured goods. Ah, the 260 Mogul, which is a freight specialized train. And again, if we just wanted to make money, where could we bring stuff from this sawmill? We could bring it to a variety of places. Nowhere particularly close and convenient, actually. Get some more oil over here. And New York does want the oil. And it turns it into goods. We could then ship into New York. Or Trenton doesn't actually want goods. Hmm. Okay, we may as well do that just to raise a few bucks. So we'll add an extra platform here. Which will then go through New York. Which will then... Ooh, patent auction. Yeah, you know, I'll place a bid. I don't have any com competition. So no one is going to increase the bid. It's one of the reasons it's a little easy mode. So every now and again, these little patents come up for something that will um, give you some sort of boost. And so you can you can bid on it, and then you'll be the only person to have that boost for now. At some point, it'll become kind of a free-for-all. Like, everyone will eventually have that. But at first, it'll just be you. So you get to take advantage. There we go. That'll bring in some more money. 